As Eminem is getting ready to release what may just be his final album, it seems like he's only picking up more and more steam as we get closer to the most anticipated project of his in years, as with his new track Toby. M has raised the bar for this record even higher, and he isn't just doing this by tapping back into some of the core pillars of what made his older music special like we saw on a track like Houdini, but he is pushing his artistry forward as he delivers a performance that isn't just so sharp and technically proficient, but it's also the hungriest and most passionate Eminem has sounded in a very long time as well, and this is all due to the way that this track is built to not just be a moment that is showing Eminem's ability to evolve some of the most sacred aspects of his legacy, but it's also because of the way after what many would consider have been years of slander and dismissal from the conversations it felt like he was once always at the center at, which is of course hip-hop's never-ending GOAT debate. Eminem has clapped back at an array of names including multiple other rappers and has fired at them to tell them that despite the way their own legacies have been celebrated, they cannot rival his own. Now before we can get into the array of lyrical jabs Eminem threw out at other MCs, which there are a lot of on this track, we first need to look at how he was able to build up this moment to have the impact that it has, which all comes down to the collaborators he picked to rap alongside him and the way musically. This track is able to convey a similar eeriness to the Slim Shady records Eminem released at the very beginning of his career, which is all conveyed through the track's grim and hypnotic instrumental, which really feels like an evolution of something that you'd hear on the Slim Shady LP, and building on this atmosphere when it comes to the actual features on the song. While Eminem teaming up with Big Sean and Babytron of all people can seem very random, when you recognize that all three of these MCs all come from the same place in Detroit, and all represent very different eras and generations in the city's hip-hop lineage, you start to see that in a time where because of recent events in the genre, regional territory and unity has become more important than ever. Eminem is following suit with the precedent somebody like Kendrick Lamar set at his Pop Out concert and during his entire beef with Drake, which overall made a region like the West Coast stronger than it has been in decades. And here with Toby, we are witnessing the exact same thing as despite how strange on paper seeing Babytron and Eminem on the same cut may be, they managed to gel together here surprisingly well as Babytron sets things off strong with his memorable hook that references the classic Tobey Maguire Spider-Man films and flips the origin story of those movies to call himself the GOAT. And then following up on this, Big Sean only expands on this lyrical barrage with a verse from him that sounds like one of his sharpest and most on point in a very long time. This song has two of the better features that any single has seen this year so far, but ultimately, despite these two MCs delivering great verses, this track becomes the moment that it is because of what Eminem does, which after announcing that this upcoming body of work that will send off Slim Shady and maybe his entire career will be releasing shortly after this, this cut does a fantastic job of putting the stakes and weight of this project into perspective, because through one of the most tightly written and hungry verses Eminem has delivered in years, he shocks the world by not just reminding everyone Everyone of the skill he still possesses, but because of the rappers he calls out, which range from some direct shots to some that are very subliminal, and at the top of the list of MCs that Eminem calls out. The most obvious diss goes out to Melly Mel, who at this point besides Drake, has to be the most disrespected man in hip-hop this year, as between Kendrick Lamar's diss on Like That to Eminem right here, he has received multiple disses from two of the most respected and popular rappers in the game currently, and while Melly Mel is a pioneer who crafted some of the most important moments in hip-hop's early origins, and really did help the genre get off the ground and become the cultural staple that it became, his blatant disrespect for both M and Kendrick shouldn't go without confrontation because of this status, and this is what Eminem directly acknowledges as he says, get dissed though and by a pioneer, who was one of the reasons why I am here. They tell me I should just let it go and slide. Melly Mel shouldn't get no reply. That man is a legend, so am I. And with these bars, Eminem is defending himself from Mel, who he has been in a back and forth with ever since Mel attacked him back in 2023 and tried to diminish his legacy. And after M clapped back at him for this with a feature verse, Mel released a full-on Eminem diss track, and after seeing how horrible that diss was, and now looking at how Eminem is telling Mel here once and for all, that despite what he has done to pave the way for the genre, he cannot take away from M's status because he has become an all-time great in his own regard. I think it's safe to say that Eminem closed the book on this feud with this verse, but with the rest of his performance, Eminem went into much more interesting territory as he didn't just diss a hater of his and somebody who is clearly not on his level, but he actually threw lyrical jabs at other MCs who are in the debate for the greatest MC of all time right alongside him in the eyes of most people, 
And coming at some of the most respected rappers of all time, M is questioning how names that he has collaborated with and outperformed on songs can still manage to be higher up on an all-time list than him. And now while without any other context, this can just seem like a faint braggadocious lyric on Eminem's end, with the way this entire verse is written, it's pretty clear that Eminem is referencing Billboard's recent list of the top 50 rappers of all time in which Eminem was at number 5, and the rappers above him were Tupac, Nas, Kendrick Lamar, and Jay-Z. And while Eminem would definitely not disrespect Tupac, as he isn't just held in greater regards than almost any other rapper ever, but Eminem has also publicly been a massive Tupac fan, and even went as far in the past to produce an entire posthumous album for him. When we look at the other three rappers in Kendrick, Nas, and Jay, when we line their working relationships up with what Eminem said. These are three rappers that Eminem has worked with over the course of his career, and for this reason, I think on some level, we are supposed to believe that Eminem is trying to poke all three of them. But at the same time, I think that there is one rapper who is being targeted a lot more than the other two. And this is because when we look at Em and Kendrick's collaboration in Love Game and Em and Nas's in EPMD2, while you could argue that Em had the better verse on either track, it's not this undisputed sentiment throughout the entirety of hip-hop culture that he washed these artists. But out of all these rappers, the one who everyone knows Eminem pretty much humiliated on their own song, which is something even Nas alluded to himself on Ether back in 2001, is of course Jay-Z, and with Eminem right before this, rapping about his lyrical skill and saying that he has more stories than the Empire State Building, which when you consider Jay-Z is a New York rapper and his biggest song ever is Empire State of Mind. When we piece all this together, I think it's pretty clear that Eminem is calling out Jay and is trying to tell us that despite Jay's status, which seems to only be getting stronger and stronger on all-time lists as the years keep going by, in this process as Jay-Z is getting immortalized, we can't forget that Eminem did wash him on his own track in Renegade back in 2001, and while this is the main jab on the song that is getting everyone talking as seeing Eminem get this competitive with none other than Jay-Z is just a surreal moment. There's one warning that Eminem threw out on this track that I don't think anybody's noticed yet, and it isn't actually written out on the song, but it's present throughout the entire track's messaging. And what I am of course talking about with the track is the very title and artwork of it, which is referencing Spider-Man and the iconic Spider-Man meme, which when we look back in the recent history of everything that's went down in hip-hop, one of the most pivotal moments recently was Drake and J. Cole's collaboration, First Person Shooter, which in this song, one of the most viral moments and talked about parts of the entire song was when J. Cole said that the Spider-Man meme was him looking at Drake. And with Eminem not just visiting this exact same idea, but with him also putting himself above Spider-Man as the entire premise of the track is that he was bit by a goat instead of a spider. From everything surrounding J. Cole, Drake, and even Kendrick Lamar as they have battled it out to settle the Big 3 debate, and also with Nas and Jay-Z, who in most people's eyes, have taken a step above Eminem as they have aged pretty gracefully. What Eminem is doing in this track is poking at the most relevant names in hip-hop right now, and in the debate that he wants to take the crown of, as in some shape or form, as he is telling all of them that he is truly the king of the rap game. And now while this is of course up for debate if you agree with these sentiments, when you consider this move from Eminem's eyes as he is trying to gain respect back as the all-time great that his legacy was once held in, I think from his perspective this was the best thing he could have done for himself and if this entire upcoming album can deliver, he may just accomplish this goal in full. Now I also think it's important to note that Eminem is most likely not calling out any of these rappers in a manner where he actually has animosity against them or where he is trying to start anything in the vein that Kendrick and Drake did, but instead, this really just seems like a competitive way to remind guys like Kendrick, Nas, and Jay that M is competing with them for the crown that they have been fighting for for decades and that the race is not over yet, which at the end of the day, is what hip-hop is all about. Eminem is doing this to not just get the best out of himself, but hopefully his competition, and the next time we hear somebody like Jay-Z drop a verse, I really hope he claps back on these lines which are so clearly directed to him the most over anybody else, because if we can see a little friendly sparring between two legends like this, it only benefits us the fans and gives us more great moments to remember for the ages. So with all that said, let me know. What do you think about what Eminem did with this track, Toby, and what rapper do you think he was trying to jab at the hardest here? I can't wait to hear what you have to say, and if you want to see why most of hip-hop just turned on Drake for me, check out the suggested video.